Why is the car beeping at me? 240, 250. There's fans, but my butt is nice and cold now. We literally have all of Chinatown to ourselves. This is where I wanna be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave, nah, nah, nah. got down a Lamborghini and this is my whip, the Lamborghini Urus. Funnily enough, when I first saw these cars, I was not a massive fan. Initially I was like, that's not a real Lamborghini. Then like a year and a half ago, I was lucky enough to take one of these out on the track and I was just blown away. 200 kilometers an hour, got 230, 240, 250. Oh my goodness, brake hard. This thing is quick. I got Horizon with me today. What up, what up? We're gonna just go out and enjoy the car today, go and take some photos with it, and then tonight we're gonna do a more creative video with my friend Bao. Also, dude, you gotta see the reverse camera in this. Look at this. Uh, How sick is that? That's so sick. It's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. The first thing that we're doing today is we've taken the car down to Federation Square, which has this really interesting wall behind it. No, you're fine. <laughs> this car gets so much attention everywhere we go. People are taking photos and videos. It is a little bit of an overdone photo, especially in the car scene, but I figured it's one that I had to get when I've got this car. So I've just got my tripod set up over here. I set up the shot that I wanted. Just a so we just finished up getting some photos. I think we've got a few bangers in there. I'm not a car photographer, so I'm trying to figure out all these angles, but it's kind of hard to make this car not look good. Now we're gonna go pick up our friend Piano and go for some lunch. Let's get it. Cruise around in this thing. How did you know this was our car? Wow. I was a bit worried you wouldn't be able to find us and I was gonna I have to- I see it from across the street. <laughs> it stands oh, out, right? Oh. It has fans got, on your butt. We got fans, like there's, there's, there's fans, like my butt is nice and cold now, like. Yeah, Do you feel it? The it feels so weird. <laughs> like, if you're gonna spend five hundred thousand dollars a car, you need fans on your fans butt. Fans on your butt. <laughs> yeah, like if anyone's gonna do a sneaky fart, it's gonna hide that fart straight away. Well, actually, it's probably gonna just <laughs> right. it a little bit too much. Unless it, unless it's, it, it sucks it in. That's maybe. like the extra, extra upgrade. It's like a, a six thousand dollar upgrade. Uh, the fart hiding fan. Right. And if they don't have it, they should have it because that's a great idea. Yep. I mean, imagine you're on a date with a girl and you can't hold it in and you're like, oh man, all of a sudden my whole Lambo flex is ruined because I just farted in the car. You just press that button, she has no idea what you pressed and all of a sudden your fart is completely at, hidden. At the same time, I think I think even if you didn't have the fans and you farted in your Lambo, I think your flex will still be there. Yeah, but what? <laughs> She'll still be there, bro. Then again, if she's the type of girl who's only impressed by the Lambo, she probably ain't for you anyway. Exactly right. What have you got back there? You got- I got cup holders here. You got cup holders. Got cup holders. I've got, oh, I've got some features down here actually. Got some stuff going on down here. Let's figure you out. You want USB charging? Um, no, I'm not much going on. <laughs> <laughs> this butt fan actually it's is good. Really amazing. Yeah, I've got a butt fan going on, but there's some holes here that. came down to Beach Road in St Kilda and I wanted to create a photo that really plays on the green tones of the car and they have all these amazing palm trees. So I came down here and I parked it 
parallel to one of these palm trees and then across the road you have all this green grass so the photo that I'm trying to get is one that goes from green grass to green car to tree and then you've got all the blue sky uh, creating the contrast so hopefully the photo will turn out cool reverse parallel parking in a really expensive car I'm not gonna lie I'm quite nervous about it Going. You good? Oh, I'm not enjoying the sounds of those beeps. I'm good, apparently. Oh, don't beep at me, you're scaring me. You got plenty of room. I got plenty of room. Why is why is the car beeping at me? It's just extra protection. Oh, it's beeping again. <laughs> we're safe. Okay. We're safe. Let's put it in park and we're ready to go. <laughs> that was stressful, guys. That was stressful. Oh, now wow. I have to worry about bikes coming past, people rocking the mirror. I'm scared to leave this while we go to have lunch. I feel like I need to have a bodyguard stand outside and, and chew people away. But. <laughs> I don't have that kind of budget for this vlog, so I'm just gonna have to use my faith in God. The two guys behind me both left as soon as I parked. They were literally just right sitting there. there watching the show. Just dropped P off. We're heading back to the Burbs because we're picking up Horizon's car. <laughs> heading back to the hood. <laughs> in the Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> definitely gonna stand out there. Oh man. Um, so he's gonna be driving tonight while the videographer drives next to us and gets rolling shots. I'm just hoping that it doesn't rain. It was saying yesterday that it wasn't gonna to rain tonight, but uh, now it's saying that it might rain. So fingers crossed we get good weather tonight. So we're at home now for a little bit. What's up, Louis? And I'm just going over the list of added extras to this car. So the base price is $395,888 to be exact. Yes. How much do you think the paint color costs? So the, the paint that is on this car is an added upgrade. It's not just like a standard paint. It is the Verde Mantis Pearl Effect. What do you reckon the paint job costs? I feel like I'll I feel like I'll be aiming too low. I don't know. I'd say about 15,000. You're pretty close. $17,144 to get that paint color. But that paint color is pretty cool. So it'd be hard to say no to if you're already spending $395,888. So in the grand scheme of things, you got Lambo money. I can understand spending the 17,144 to get the color of your dreams. What about, how much do you think the 23 inch? It was 23, yep, yep, I guess 23. Yep, you did. How much do you think the 23 inch rims cost? For all four? All four, not per, per wheel. 20,000. Hmm, you undersold it. $9,898. For all four? Really like those wheels, for all four, not per wheel, for all four. Oh wow, I thought they'd be at least five grand each. What about, the panoramic roof, what do you reckon that, that cost? Oh man, I'd say about five grand. 5,302, man, you should be a car salesman. <laughs> Lamborghini, <laughs> if uh, DJing doesn't work out for him, he wants a job. I'm heading back into the city now to meet up with Bao, who's shooting the video tonight. I'm really excited about this video. I think it's gonna turn out really cool. So the whole concept of the video is about how cars can be a form of therapy and almost put you in like a meditative state because for me, cars are my happy place. I'm the type of person, my mind is always racing. I'm always thinking about a million things at once. But when I'm behind the wheel of a car, especially when I get to go to a racetrack or I get to really have a spirited drive, the only thing that I'm thinking about is me, the car, and the road. I'm not thinking about all the other stuff 
that's normally clouding my mind, all the stresses, all the work-related stuff, all the parent-related stuff, everything else that's going on in my life, I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about me, the car, and the road. And that's why I love cars so much because I've actually, I've tried to meditate and I still want to be able to learn how to meditate. It's something that's on my bucket list. But I've tried a million things and the only thing that ever manages to slow my mind down like that is cars. And so we thought, why don't we do a video that's shot a little bit abstract, a little bit cinematic, and we have a voiceover where I'm talking about the emotional connection that I have with a car that makes it so special to me. Because I'm not the type of person who loves cars like this because I want to flex or I want to be flashy. It's because I genuinely love the engineering. I love the feeling, the emotional connection that you have with the car. So that's what we're trying to express in this video that we're going to film tonight. Hopefully it comes through. I mean, when you're being creative, it's always a little bit hit and miss. You never know how it's going to turn out or you never even know what direction it's going to go. Maybe, maybe we could end up making a video about something completely different when we start filming or when we start editing. But uh, that's the concept at the moment. and. I'm pretty excited about it. We got Bao here, who's filming tonight. Got David, so photographer. We just got to the first location, which was supposed to be on the rooftop of this car park, and they've actually closed it off. This car park, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. That it has an incredible view of the city that way, and then the wheel that way. The plan was to have a shot of me with the car, over the wheel, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna get a few B-roll shots just of me while we're while we're here. So we just came down to Chinatown. And initially we were really bummed out because there's like it's all blocked off at the moment and we had a talk with the guys and they've allowed us to come down and shoot the car so we literally have all of Chinatown to ourselves to do a photo shoot with this car like you would never get Chinatown all to yourself like you'd be able to just park a car smack bang in the middle of Chinatown this is <laughs> this is awesome we got so lucky. Mate, Lamborghini's gonna love this. They're gonna love this. Wait, Jamie. Yo. Pull it up oh, in the that'll look sick. Yeah, that'll look crazy. Go back. I'm so tired. I just woke up and realized I forgot to end the vlog last night. I got home at about 4 a.m. and just crashed in bed. We're up really late filming all this stuff for this little video that we put together. I'm so excited to see it. Also, I want to say a massive thank you to Bao for filming and editing this, to David for doing the photos, to Horizon for coming and being the driver. Uh, it was just, it was such a fun night. We had such a great team. I'm super excited to see the video. And if you like this whole experience, hit that thumbs up. And I'm gonna go and get a coffee because I really need one. Have a great day. Life moves fast, you can't outrun it. Sometimes the what once was can look so different to the what now is. is is what takes you where you want to go you can't outrun it but i choose to run with it and when i run i run like a bull